What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about a film coming out on April 12th that I got to check out a little bit early thanks to the kind folks over at Well Go USA Entertainment and that film is called Sting. Written and directed by Kaya Roach or Turner, this film stars people like Aliyah Brown, Ryan Kaur, Penelope Mitchell, Jermaine Fowler, and more. So going into this movie, I knew really nothing about it other than the fact that it was an upcoming horror film that had a spider in the mix, and I had seen some of the reviews on Letterboxd from some of my peers who got to check it out early thanks to AMC and Regal's kind of like unseen surprise screenings where they play an unseen movie ahead of time. And I was actually surprised that they played Sting so ahead of its release for people who were going to check it out at one of those surprise screenings. And then I got sent the screener literally like two days later. So as of filming this, I watched the movie yesterday here at home via the digital screener that was sent to me by the studio and so let's get into what this movie is all about without getting into spoilers just what you can see in the trailers the movie opens up and we're introduced to a young girl played by Aliyah Brown known as Charlotte she finds a spider and decides to keep this spider as a pet putting it in a jar and starts to feed it various cockroaches and other bugs that she finds around this apartment building that her family owns and supervises she lives with her mom Heather played by Penelope Mitchell as well as her stepfather Ethan played by Ryan Kaur Immediately we learn that she doesn't necessarily have the greatest family dynamic as her deadbeat dad has not really been around but she has this mentality that her dad is this hero in her life even though the stepdad and the mom know that that's not really the case. Now they also just introduced a new baby into their family so add in that dynamic and she feels kind of like the outsider in this family even though the stepfather Ethan is trying his best to connect with her most notably because he is a comic book artist which has kind of trickled into her becoming an artist herself and she actually has taken an interest in the book that he's writing. And outside of that, we get to learn about some of the other people who live in this apartment building, like a young biology student who is testing on fish, as well as a woman who is uh, unfortunately dealing with the passing of her children. And we learn that on the top floor, the grandmother of the young girl also lives there who has dementia and her great auntie is taking care of her. And then on top of that, you also have Jermaine Fowler in the mix playing a character of Frank, who is an ex exterminator who is called to come and see what's rattling through the walls and what could possibly be causing some of the disturbances they have throughout the course of the film. Now this young girl decides to name this spider Sting and as she's feeding it different creatures as I mentioned it starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger and this is a very specific and special spider that we learn about very th at the very beginning of the film but the marketing hasn't really given too much detail on the spider so neither will I but this is a very special spider I'll say that and so as she starts to feed this creature a bunch of different bugs it's growing in a very rapid pace which of course leads to a killer spider on the loose within this apartment complex. And the best way I could describe this film and sum it up is that it's your traditional horror film with a monster in the house or monster in the building mixed with something like eight-legged freaks when it comes down to some of its sensibilities and humor as well as something like home alone take that as you will this is a movie that's going to work for some and not work for others after having checked out some of my peers reviews on letterbox some of my friends gave it up to four stars and there were some that were giving it down to two stars so clearly there was a division right out of the gate from just some of the people who got to check it out a little bit early and after having seen it myself i could say I didn't love the film I didn't think it was amazing or anything but I had a lot of fun with it and it was one of those films that won me over over the course of the runtime it's a movie that in the first 30 40 minutes I thought okay this is entertaining enough but this is just like your traditional horror affair a couple of you know just regular jump scares and pretty much very traditional setup there was intrigue for sure I always like a good creature feature so I was looking forward to seeing where it was going to go as this spider decided to get larger and larger or was continuing to get larger and larger but when we got to the latter half of the film and it started to lean into how ridiculous this premise is and it started to lean more into a bit of a comedy horror vibe I found myself enjoying it a lot more if you follow this channel you know I've said on millions of occasions that I love horror comedy it's my favorite subgenre of horror and you could just do so much fun with that type of horror now if you're somebody going into this hoping for an innovative new twist on the creature feature or something that's actually eerie or creepy I don't really think this movie is going to be for you as this is a movie that definitely leans into it being more of a B horror monster movie which is right up my personal personal alley but is not for everybody now one thing I should mention though is that if you have arachnophobia this is without a doubt a movie you're not going to want to watch as it definitely has to do with a big spider and that's definitely not something you're going to want to see as there are some creepy eerie spider moments in this film not for me but visually I can see that this movie is going to scare people who are afraid of spiders especially as the spider gets larger and larger and larger and so overall what I can say about this movie is that it's actually well shot it's got like a solid performances throughout as far as the characters and the story a lot of the other characters 
characters are just kind of there to kind of fluff up the story at times but what i really found myself enjoying was the stepdaughter and stepfather dynamic between the characters of charlotte and ethan that's definitely the thing that i think most audience members are going to latch on to the most a lot of the other characters most notably the mom is just kind of there to be there she doesn't really have an abundance to do throughout the course of the story and so i would say that's probably one of my biggest gripes is that we have a bunch of characters that we meet that are sometimes clearly introduced just to be you know spider fodder i'm not saying that the mother is but just most notably some of the other tenants that we meet that we get to know even less than the characters that are in the family you recognize pretty quickly that they're there to just get killed by the spider pretty much and that's exactly what happens so there is a predictability to this film it's nothing that's going to blow your mind or surprise you or give you twists and turns. It just went in directions I didn't expect as we got later as it started to kind of lean into its goofiness a little bit more, especially as it started to feel, like I said, like Eight-Legged Freaks or even Home Alone, which is just such a weird comparison to throw at this movie. But overall, I, I found myself enjoying the performances. I enjoyed the overall cinematography and I enjoyed the musical score that was accompanying this film as well. Overall, the look, the feel, the vibe of the film is definitely traditional when it comes to horror, but the overall premise allowed it to be a lot more fun. And I mention that if you're a big fan of b-movie horror monster movies that i definitely am you know just if you like a good b-movie especially monster movies and something like spiders then you're really going to enjoy a lot of the practical effects that are utilized in this film as well because while there is a lot of cgi when it comes to the spider at moments there's definitely a good utilization near the third act of big practical spiders that i thought were really cool and really added to the look and feel of the film and always just makes the scene feel more tangible and there's some great comedic beats throughout here as well my favorite character comedically was the character of frank played by jermaine Fowler I thought that he just added a really fun dynamic to the mix here's this one character who's just there to be a regular exterminator and finds himself in the mix with a ginormous spider and some of the other characters that were in there were just okay this isn't a movie that I can give a ringing endorsement to to everybody but as somebody who enjoys a good B horror film if you're looking for something that you can just kind of stuff some popcorn down your throat and just kind of enjoy something silly and goofy that you can have a laugh at then I think you're going to enjoy this but if you go into this looking for something that's going to innovate and kind of reinvent the horror tropes it's just not this movie this is not an elevated horror film to any degree in a lot of ways this is your standard horror fair with a couple of things that give it its own identity so i definitely want to hear what people have to say about this because i think it's really going to depend on your personal taste as i mentioned some of my peers who saw it already on letterbox were giving it vastly different opinions and so whether you lean into the goofiness of this film or you don't is really going to be up to you but i want to know most importantly are you planning on checking out sting when it comes out on april 12th or is this a movie that's just not on your radar or is this a movie that maybe you didn't hear about and maybe is on your radar now whatever the case may be leave any and all comments down below and i'll see you beautiful people in the next one Bye bye